in this video tutorial we'll talk about uh, sonar cube and how to integrate sonar cube with azure devops pipeline for demo i am going to use csr with dotnet core project but the same concept will work for other programming language as well provided it is uh, supported by sonar cube before we start let's quickly find out what is sonar cube and why we should be considering it in our build pipeline uh sonar cube is an open source platform developed by sonar source for uh, continuous inspection of code quality to perform automatic reviews with the static analysis of code to detect bugs code uh, smells and security vulnerabilities on uh, 20 plus uh, programming languages this is technical architecture diagram for sonar cube integration with azure devops Uh, in this architecture diagram we describe the azure devops pipeline features to help our application code to get built with azure devops pipeline and uh, sonar cube scanner analyzes the code quality and uh, upload analysis result to sonar cube database the following setup required for sonar cube integration with azure devops step 1 set up sonar cube in the azure virtual machine or aws instance with publicly as accessible url step 2 access sonar cube dashboard under configuration of azure devops step 3 project creation and will integrate with azure devops step 4 service connection creation between azure devops and sonar cube step 5 ms build pipeline and will integrate a demo dotnet core project step 6 run sonar cube and step 7 analysis the scan report of sonar cube dashboard let's see how to set up build pipeline for sonar cube with azure devops step 1 set up sonar cube in the azure vm or aws instance with public access url we already created a virtual uh, azure virtual machine and uh, configured this inside the sonar cube with the public access url the public access this is the public access url just to copy this url and uh, and to verify this url is working in your local or not just to paste here once you enter your sonar cube login credential and verifying is able to access uh, publicly yeah we able to access uh, this public uh, url in in our local so step 1 is completed let's uh, see step 2 step 2 access sonar cube dashboard under configuration of azure devops go to administration and select alm integration and then select Azure DevOps. Here we configuring to start analyzing your uh, repository on Sonar Cube. Create a configuration. Uh, first configuration name. Any name you can provide here. And next one Azure DevOps URL. This is also DevOps URL. So you go back to Azure uh, DevOps portal and uh, select select. this url and copy here and paste it here we don't have give the project name here next to personal access token sonar cube used for this token for authentication purpose again go back to azure devops select user settings the click here and then uh, click on person access token if you have any token uh, you can you can uh, use this token otherwise you can create a new personal token click on here click on new token name it as token id sonar cube how change sonar cube and you can provide the required uh, information the expiration date i will provide the 30 days and uh, 
you can select uh, record access for this token so we can provide the custom defined so work item we we don't don't need for work items you can source code provide the full access read write and manage build uh, build uh, select read and execute and uh, release release we don't need for release and test management uh, yeah we require test management select read and write and the packaging also we required so select this read write and manage and create this token the token is created i uh, and copy the token and manage and store it my local and copy this token and paste it here copy and paste this token over here then save and configuration the, this configuration is valid come back to sonar cube dashboard this is sonar cube dashboard now you can see added uh, so the ops inside the sonar cube step 3 project creation and will integrate with azure repos uh, create and project go to uh, sonar cube dashboard then select add project azure devops if it is asking uh, access token just copy the created access token and paste it here this list all the repository in the azure devops selected organization just to search your project repository click your project repository then set up uh, selected repository here we'll do it uh, through azure pipeline so select it here we need to follow this step to com to complete the analyze your project with uh, azure devops pipeline step 1 install sonar cube extension for azure devops click here to install this extension if you don't have already and then uh, select the following step to complete this uh, installation process just select your uh, azure devops organization and then install this download or install this extension uh, i am already uh, installed this extension so i skip this step here click continue the step 1 is completed uh, step 2 service connection creation between azure devops and sonar cube to create a service connection come back to devops portal open project settings here uh, i am click on service connection to scroll down and select service connection and click on new service connection over here select sonar cube this is visible after sonar cube extension click next and uh, enter the service url here and go back to sonar cube and uh, select this url so if you copy this url here from here then paste it here authentication token go back to just to generate a token here click here on our cube generate this token 
copy this token and I paste it here and I provide the service connection name if you need any description you can add here and finally save it this the service connection is created and keep this token in your local and click on continue and just click on continue the step 2 is completed step 3 configure analysis uh, this is dotnet code project so i select dotnet the following steps required to complete the uh, azure pipeline step 1 in azure devops uh, as they mentioned the build pipeline uh, you can add uh, prepare analysis configuration task before your your build build task so i come back to my pipeline and uh, and uh, select my pipeline and add or edit uh, this pipeline setting and uh, add my template add this template prepare prepare analysis uh, configuration just add this template here as they mentioned i i move this template starting this uh, this build pipeline so so i added here and then next i select the sonar cube service endpoint as the created step 2 so i will select create select the service endpoint as we created earlier and then uh, and then under choose the way to run the analysis selected integrate ms build so i select integrate with ms build and uh, next i will in i will select project key and uh, and project name scroll down i, I will select pro, pro, project key as they provided the project and select and uh, update this product key and the project name so go back to sonar cube portal and select this project name sonar cube copy this project and paste it over here that's it the prepare analysis uh, configuration setup completed uh, prepare analysis on sonar cube this is kind of initialization of sonar cube in your build pipeline this will be required whenever you want to run sonar cube code quality can in your uh, build pipeline next task uh, run code analysis uh, task after your build task the run code analysis if you are doing the ms build for your dotnet uh, project then this should be your next task uh, this task will actually do the code scan and the analysis but for this task you need to add your project build task prior to the build pipeline so come back to my pipeline just add my code analysis task just to move it my after my build pipeline so just add it here uh, add a new publish quality gate result task go to publish on our cube quality gate result on your build pipeline summary uh, actually this is optional i think this task may increase your build time as uh, your pipeline will have wait for sonar cube to process the analysis result report i think this is uh, highly recommended but uh, optional so i skip this uh, just skip this task then final step under this trigger step your pipeline check enable the continuous integration on this main branch so 
I save this uh, pipeline, save on the queue and uh, give I select the branch, main branch and then select and save and run this uh, pipeline. This pipeline, uh, this pipeline build is running. It will take uh, one or two minutes to complete this uh, build pipeline. Once build pipeline completed successfully. The result go to Sonar Cube dashboard and check the project. So I go back to my Sonar Cube. Now you able to see the code analysis book three parts you can see the overall reports just you can go to projects and you see the your project uh, result here final step you can check and verify continuous triggers enabled or not Go to triggers option and uh, check the enable continuous integration is enabled. Uh, because this is used to continuously triggers your build pipeline and store the analysis report to your sonar cube dashboard. In uh, in your developer uh, add or uh, made code changes in your project repository, then pipeline triggers run automatically and store the uh, latest uh, updated result to your sonar cube dashboard and then you can verify the latest result fix your uh, bugs and other issues uh, this is the complete video for uh, sonar cube integration with azure devops pipeline thank you